Hello there, good morning, born to roam here, Johan, still alive. Welcome to the, uh, the test hike with my uh, go light. Peak. It's uh, more or less filled for uh, an upcoming hike in a bit more tropical weather. Uh, it's around freezing here right now, uh, but uh, beautiful and sunny. Let's see, I'm here, and then I'm going to follow this short path towards the beach because this is the North Sea then I'm gonna walk to here which is Scheveningen you can't see it it's here dropped off the map I'm gonna walk a bit back on the beach and then I'm gonna go not sure how yet through the bit of a forest might uh, put up the, uh, the old hammock have a bit of a brew uh, and then going back here some areas these fellas are roaming around it's quite nice to look at with that sun that morning sun <clears throat> beautiful fall colors and as you can see the North Sea between Kijkduin and Scheveningen a couple of sailing boats and in the distance let's try to zoom in here Big fishing trawlers. There's a big red one. Maybe should uh, show on uh, on camera. I'm not sure what the wind will do uh, with the mic. Hey, let's move on. The local water company, Dunea, is providing these uh, water taps in uh, along the, the shore here. So let's see if they're still open because normally after October 1st they will close them down. Ooh, yeah, that still works, that still work. But uh, my water bottles are full now, so let's head on to the beach. And that way is Hook of Holland, the hook where the ferry goes towards England. Can't see it, of course. Ugh. And the other side should be about five kilometers as well. Scheveningen. That's where we'll be heading. Just a bit of a hike to uh, train some muscles on the uh, sand of the beach. I'm not going to run. I'm not frumpy or firing my bones. It's bad for my uh, joints. Basil uh, for the uh, piers to break the waves to uh, keep this beach in uh, sandy conditions, both for the tourists and, of course, for not having uh, my land underwater. Why? Easy. I reckon the uh, place I'm living is about two to three meters below sea level. There it goes. So we want to keep the water out. Look. The birds are uh, looking for food. The mussels, the cockle shells, the old crabs. This is kind of slippery. And it is more. Well, this is uh, the first uh, kind of test hike with this uh, road light. Uh, now, I'm only carrying about five to six kilograms in it now. Uh, between six and seven is kind of my base weight. And that's uh, woo, windy, you're not going to hear me. Hee wee. Had a bit of a run from toward, from where the sea is up here and running it's just not me I told you so that's good exercise part of it you see more information about everything that uh, should be worn for where you are what that could be done all stuff like that Behind the hill. There we go. And we 
here off the beach into uh, the area between the sand dunes. Uh, a lot of scrub, not uh, too many trees to, uh, yet Ooh, found to uh, string up the hammock and uh, enjoy a nice cup of tea. So uh, I'll see you when that's going to happen. Just have to find some. I don't know if you can see, but there's the sea! With the beach, that windy beach we were walking on. Now that area over there looks like it got some trees. Let's find out. Now this is more like it. Found some trees. Now uh, what I'll do, find a decent site up the hammock so I can use it there uh, as a chair and make myself a brew. Welcome in the piney woods. Lots oh, of good trees, lots of good trees. As most people with wood stoves know, building a small fire is a lot harder than big, building a big fire without a wood stove. Yeah, and look, I have a nice bench. So uh, I might string up the hammock, I might not. And there she is, ha, ah, the hammock, and there she is, the coffee. As the stove is cooling off over there, and my backpack is uh, sitting all by its lonesome myself, oh, I'm in the hammock, yeah, in the hammock, drinking my cup of coffee, just as it should, as it should. Uh, well, medicine man, thanks for uh, kicking my bum into gear, I sometimes need that. I hope you enjoyed this a bit. Uh, it's just a test hike uh, to uh, see how it went. Just normally I walk three, four, five days a week, an hour or two, uh, and uh, never really thought about bringing the camera since I was just trying to make a bit of miles, not funky style, not firing my balls marathon ultra ultra thoning, but uh, yeah, just being out there, preparing a bit for. Uh, Another hike coming up. A tropical hike. Stay tuned. Grown up guys watching birds. Now, don't get me wrong, I like watching birds as much as the next guy. Well, might be a bit different then. Oh well, watch your own birds I reckon. And we just do not only have the sea here, we also have an old bunker, remnants of the uh, Second World War. Some heavy fighting going on. And uh, yeah, every now and then a new one pops up. But the old ones of course, but uh, sand dunes moving and everything. So yeah, this has been here for a while. I, uh, I'm surprised to see it's still left intact like this. Well, hope you enjoyed that uh, piece of uh, trivia about history. And there we have them, finally. At the end, while I'm very near the car, there's one grazing over there. Ooh, one looking at me over there. Now I'm supposed to keep 25 meters away from them. Well, can't do that. They are next to the road here. Yeah, Look, see. Grazing. I reckon I'm about four meters away from him. He's kind of used to people. Big horns. Big horns. I uh, hope you enjoyed this training hike. Thanks for watching. And, uh, see you next time.